Uh, super encouraging. It's been on display for a while. I'm glad you brought it up. Um, you know, we've really, I mean, we've gone up 20, 25 spots in those in those categories, depending on which metric you want to use as far as OPS, slug, or um, average. But all of them have increased dramatically. And, you know, Harrison with two-strike homer, um, Carp, two-strike, two-out, um, single. You know, Polly obviously followed with a, with a two-strike, two-run homer. And then we got two outs, nobody on. Um, Bader, uh, double. And walks by Rondon and uh, Paulie with a great at bat um, as Rondon with eight pitch walk and then Dylan um, didn't give in either for insurance runs so a lot of positive things two strikes two outs good good solid offensive approach good baseball game. That ninth inning there something that I think really jumps out as you talk about better plate approach and getting the chase rate down being able to work those walks seeing that being implemented consistently has to be a good sign. Great sign I mean that's a great sign I mean look it's counted for helped us pretty much win that ball game tonight um, between the two strikes and then the mentality of two outs, nobody on. we got to figure out a way to, you know, make something happen this inning. And, again, Bader was great tonight, great at bats. Carp, um, you know, maybe an unsung at bat, but an important one, two outs, uh, two strikes, you know, nice line drive to, to center to to set Pauly up for um, his nice two-strike, two-run homer. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Derek? Mike, this is a failure on our on my end for for not asking um, this while we've talked so much about offense. But usually, some of these things are worked on in spring and drills and on backfields and everything like that. In the midst of the season, when you talk about improving two strikes, is that also drills or is it mostly mindset conversation you guys have? Well, I think it's both. I mean, you know, you can work on it. Two strikes, you know, hey, you have the right approach, but. You know, a lot of situational hitting is, you know, mentality. You know, two strikes is a mentality. And um, so it's a combination of both. Guys working on it, um, you know, not trying to do too much, have a nice short stroke, and also having, a, you know, being short in their mind as well. Is that individualized or can you have a kind of team-wide mentality? Exactly? Well, it's definitely a team-wide mentality. Um, you know, individuals have it. it creates a collective team um, mentality. But it is something that we really talked about pretty clearly, you know, um, over a month ago. The job Wainwright. There's a toughness to it, you know, just a toughness to that two-strike at bat. So thanks for letting me add on. Go ahead. Sorry, Derek. Oh, no, that actually is kind of why I was asking. It's like, I mean, it's almost like you um, have to – take an aggressive attitude and it or confidence. I'm not sure what the word is right there, but but it's not just like they go into the cage and pretend like you're two strikes. That's not enough. No, that's right. It's a mentality. It's a you know, it's a it's a it's a toughness, it's a competitive spirit. It's a I'm gonna figure out a way to spoil pitch and I'm gonna figure out a way to get on base. I'm gonna use the whole field and think, figure it out. You think that spills into other counts as well then if you have a toughness with two strikes and you build confidence with success for <laughs> that then all of a sudden it's starts trickling elsewhere too. It seems like a good place to start. If you're comfortable and you know you can hit with two strikes and you're going to compete compete well with two strikes, then you can be a little more selective and look to do, you know, get your A swing off earlier in the count. So you don't have to expand the zone. You can you can, you know, it's exactly some of the things we talked about which are in principle are good. We've just added to the repertoire. We'd be remiss not to ask about Wainwright. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kind of showed everybody in Cleveland what they've been missing for 16 years. <laughs> yeah, he was tremendous again. Um, you know, him and Quantra locked up and threw good baseball, you know, and Wayno was fantastic uh, on the grounds for six outs. Curveball was tremendous. Um, 11 outs on his curveball, five punch outs. Um, just made pitches when he need to um, and was really uh, – Really sharp. He did. He did the ball very well. Give us seven to leave with the lead. Thanks. Yes, sir. Everybody else good? All right. Yep. And you and Alex.